Well, hello, it's Miss Peggy, and this is the craft video for um, our lesson from the story for children on um, the wandering. And remember, the wandering was that the people of God, the Israelites, had left from um, Egypt, and they wound up at the mountain of God, and then he gave them the Ten Commandments. Remember, that was our lesson last week. He gave them the new rules so that they could learn how to live in a way that would be holy, how God wanted his people to understand that he was holy. And so he gave them these rules to ask them to live in a way that was holy. Now, don't tell anybody, but you remember we said the reason he wanted them to try was so that they could figure out they could not be holy, not without his help. So it's only when his Holy Spirit comes in and helps us can we actually be holy because we can't even obey the first commandment, which is to keep God with all our heart, with all our soul, with all our mind, and with all our strength as the most loved part of our existence. That's the first one. We sure can wreck it. We often do all day long, every day. So anyway, what happened was he did take them to the land that he had promised long before to Abram and Abraham, after Abram was turned into Abraham. Remember that? The promised land. So he brings them to the promised land, and he tells them, I, this is it. This is the land I want you to have. And Moses says, okay, so let me give tw one spy from each of the 12 tribes to go into the promised land and take a look, right? Crouching and slouching and peeping and creeping so that they could find out what the land was like. And then they came back and they gave their reports and the people didn't trust God. Doggone it, they didn't trust God. And instead they said, they can't do it, they can't do it. And, they, and God got mad. And he said, I am gonna teach these people to trust me. And he made them wander about in the desert so that he could love them through lots of difficult situations. And in loving them that way, teach them that he is very trustworthy and that he will never leave them, never forsake them, always be with them, no matter what. And they did learn to trust him. And that was their wanderings. Well, today, for our craft, I'm kind of excited. You're going to need a tube, right? So you can get a real long tube like this. This one came out of some wrapping paper. You can get a real long tube, or you can get a paper towel roll, which is like these, only um, longer, right? It's about two and a half of these would be a paper towel roll. So you could do that and you could either do it long or you could cut it into two and it would be a little bit longer than these. And these are toilet paper rollers, right? And you can use these. So you can either make one long thing to look through, which we will call a telescope <laughs> because it helps us to see far. Now our telescopes are going to be imaginary, right? because we're not going to put magnifying glasses in them or anything like that. And um, so you can make a telescope. I see you. Wow. I could really see you. Wow. Mm, yeah. Or you can make small ones, short ones, and instead of having a telescope, which is for one eye, you can have binoculars, right, which is for two eyes. So you decide, do you want one long one to make a telescope, or do you want two short ones? to make binoculars. Once you decide, you need to decorate the outside of your tube. And the outside of it, you would decorate it by making it, well, I mean, you do it how you want, right? Because it's yours. But I like the idea of you wrap the whole thing with either paint or paper. If you put paper on it, you glue it on so that it's nice and stuck on there and it won't come loose while you're doing other things to the paper. Or you can just Decorate the cardboard part. You know, you can just put your decorations right on here if you want to. Um, if this was my grandson, Ryan, <laughs> he would be making this look just like a real telescope. He'd make it all, you know, whatever, black or, and then with, with brass fittings and all to where it would really look like it was actual. Unless you were close, you wouldn't know that it was just cardboard. But anyway, you decorate it however you want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to decorate both of mine over, and then I'm going to decorate them. You can decorate them using markers, right, or crayons. You could cut up pieces of pictures off of paper, right? You could make pictures and you can cut them and paste them on or you can use 
stamps, right? Or if you have stickers. I don't hardly have any stickers left. We have used a lot of stickers, boys and girls. But, um, so what you do is you decide how you want to decorate your tubes, okay? Then once your tubes are decorated, you want to put a strap on them, okay? So if you make one thing, you're going to want the strap to go o over your shoulder. Like you can carry it like this, right, over your shoulder. Or you could carry it just like that, but over your shoulder with a shoulder strap. Um, so you decide what kind of a thing you want to make, and then you make the strap to go with it. Now, I used yarn to make my strap. And you can use a shoestring, or you could use a um, uh, string string. Maybe mom has some cooking string in the kitchen, or dad has some twine in the workshop that he could loan you, or, or not loan you, but let you have. You decide what you want to be. I'm going to show you what mine came out to be. I decorated my two little tubes. I made binoculars. So I decorated my two little tubes, and you can see I use stamps on them. You guys have seen these stamps, right? You remember seeing these. These are the cross stamps and the ichthys stamp. The ichthys is a fish. It was a symbol for early Christians, right? And it let people know that, that you were Christians if you had that symbol around on the ground by your house or painted on the side of your house or something. And then after you decorate them, you got to connect them together, right? You've got to glue them together. Now, I used hot glue, and I think hot glue is great for this one, but... Um, because it's fast, right? You get it on there and then it's fast, but you need mom and dad to help with that because it's hot glue, right? And then I made my strap out of yarn and I connected it to the sides of my um, uh, my tubes. Now you could make a hole, but I will tell you these cardboards are, they, they give way fast if you make a hole. So I glued mine onto the side and again, I used hot glue. I just took two little pieces of paper. Mm, well, I took two little pieces of paper, put one piece of paper down, I put hot glue on it, then I laid my yarn on it, and then I put another piece of paper and I pushed. And the only reason I did that is because I knew I was going to have to push, and I didn't want to get that hot glue on my finger because it's hot. That's right, because it's hot. So I did that on both sides, and here's my yarn, and so here's my binoculars. And so with my binoculars, I can see better. I can see for spying out the land and trying to find out what the land is like. And I'm going to be like Joshua and Caleb. I'm going to find out that the land is very good. There are big people who live in the land and there are very strong fortified cities, but I'm not worried because as I look around the land, I realize this is a land flowing with milk and honey. This is a very good land with big, beautiful grapevines and fabulous pomegranate trees and a lovely river running through it. And I love this land. And I'm not worried about those people who live in the land because I am God's child. And I know that if God told me, go in and take the land, that he plans to go in with me and take the land. And I'm not going to worry about how big the people are or how strong their cities are because my God is bigger and my God is stronger and he is in control of all things. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm hitting my table and shaking the computer. <laughs> Gee whiz, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. All right, so make yourself some binoculars and get yourself ready for some slouching and crouching and creeping and peeping so that you can help the spies to see what is very, very good. And then you can use those things to um, help those spies to find out God's very good gift that he's giving to his people. Thank you, boys and girls. I hope you enjoyed this lesson, and I will talk to you again very soon.